Well, hey there, team, and welcome back to the channel. And welcome back to some more oxygen, not included. Um, where are we? Let's see what's going on. Oh, me little bug. Apparently, this dude might be stuck in the square or whatever. Ah, we'll leave him. She'll be right. It's not triggering me at all. Okay, so we're pretty much like going pretty bloody gangbusters at the moment towards our objectives. Uh, we've got we've got the air pumping away. We've got these boys digging out the underpass here. This what is that called? A patchu? They don't attack my dudes, do they? They look a bit savage. Oxygen's doing quite well. So we're mostly worried about just digging out that. I suppose we could be mainlining research at the moment. That's you know that's one thing that I sort of I, I'm not sure what side I come down on with all of that. I'm most interested in getting, um, I really want to get, oh wow, look at this. I, I don't usually explore these things, but look at these little fucking poo beetles. Sweetle. This. Yeah, anyway, so I'm, I'm interested in getting to the surface and getting my bloody spaceship going. So that's sort of what I'm trying to mainline. As I, I think we covered off as well, this, the colony victory conditions still seem to exist as well, so the... Mid-game home sweet home seems to be a thing, and the great escape. Send a duplicate on a one main mission to the farthest star map destination. I'm curious how that's translated into this DLC. I guess we'll see. Someone's got a skill, so I might give it to him. I mean, rocketry? Oh wow, look how much morale this dude has. I'll give him rocketry, you never know. There might be some random thing that he can do with it. Who knows? Anyway, so we're just sort of going to continue. Oh, that doesn't look right. Um, we're just going to sort of continue persevering, plugging along. Give him a chance to get this going because we're actually out of food. Oh, now might be the time to dig that dude out. I don't know. If we're fast about it, we, sh we can get this machine up and running. In which case, did I put a pipe? I did, just down to there. Ah, very good. Clever thinking there. Yeah, we're out of food. This is not great. I could kill this thing. We'll eat that just fine. Also, I could dig up those plants. We'll get this plant in business. Oh my goodness, what the fuck? All right, well, I think the decision's been made for me. God damn it. Hang on, we're gonna do this because this, this dude's gonna die. P9. Here we go. Everyone drop everything to rescue this spud. I mean, look, we had to dig it out anyway, so it's all good. Here we go, we're getting big food from the, uh, Ceiling collapse. It's cool that it warns you that now. That's cool. Oops, sorry. Please don't do this. Please don't do this to me. Liam, can I force move you or something? Liam, move to there. You asshole. Well, that worked out. Alright, I priority nine all this, didn't I? Okay. Could you hurry and build that machine for me, please? So they're all sick. They've got hypothermia. Wonderful. Probably, yeah, look how cold it is. Mmm. Alright, they're starting to sweep now, which is good. We need that. All right, here we go. So, polluted mud to polluted dirt and polluted water. And mud to dirt and water. Oh, isn't that cool? And it's interesting that it comes out the same pipe as well. So if you want to keep it, like, I don't give a fuck about keeping it separate at the moment. I'm just not that worried. Having said, well, it would turn it into polluted dirt. And the polluted dirt in turn can be turned into air through this machine, right? 
But truly what I want is mud and water. Actually, you know what? We're going to need to put water into that machine. It's going to need water specifically. <gasps> um, let me think for a moment. Let's do it forever for the moment. We'll just run it. Right, I'm curious, what happens if I put this in here? Because it's mixed water. It seems to actually be staying separate into polluted water and water on the top. Will they pump that when it's submerged? I wonder. That's something I've never really tried, to be honest. All right, we're going to have to start trying to separate our water supplies out. Mmm. Um, okay. Yeah, at first I was just going to dump it all in one big hole together, but that's really not going to work, is it? Um. All right. Well, what are we going to do here? I want to make uh, a clean water drawer there. Wouldn't, wouldn't I? Wouldn't I? Yeah. Is that how it works? No, polluted. We probably need a polluted water drop off. Yeah, that's what we definitely need. Even though, like, everything's polluted. <laughs> all the air's fucked and all that. Um, we're probably going to work towards that. Uh, I do have liquid pumps, so that's cool. Right, so this is an oldie but a goodie as far as my designs go. So we're going to put a liquid pump in there. And we're going to put... A bottle emptier there as well. And we're going to have to work towards getting some sort of reservoir going. Right? So, I probably would want to make it too deep. So, I'll do that. Well, actually, we'd want the... Up the top would be the entrance way, to be honest. Okay, so if we do this... There's the beginning of our reservoir. We're going to want to delete that out. We're going to want to delete that out. We'll turn that into a pressure door, similar to what we were doing before. This will be for polluted water, I think. And we'll go down like yay. And give this a go. I might even need to have to build a doctor's bed at this point, just because I'm going to keep people in a permanent state of hypothermia. Oh, someone got over it. We can turn that off for a bit. That's fine. We'll run that machine. Now, this is the thing. It's given me the food warning. Food reserves are low. 5,000 cals per cycle. I'm actually really curious how that... If that warning will go away. So, I might... Because I usually use the warning here as a threshold. But if that'll actually go away after I hit, I don't know, 10,000, 20,000 cals or something like that, maybe like I'll just push it out to see if I can get there. Yeah, so what's going to ultimately end up happening is we're going to run this pipe. Well, that's clean water, so this is going to actually have to bridge at some point. Oh, I can place it there? Oh, it's going to let me put it through walls? Why did I think that it wouldn't? No matter, let's do it like that. And then this pipe will go like that. And then it'll just go. We don't actually want it. We want to have an overflow limit on it, which will be that. I might need to give them like a construction ladder to. I might just build a temporary ladder there to make it easier for them to build that. And then that'll need power. All right, they've got a bit of work to do. See how it's settled quite nicely already? It's good. 
but we still want to have at least one Jeffrey's tube in the sub basement to create a circulation. Mop where I can actually. I'll take that opportunity. Look at that. He's gonna mop this whole layer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't mop to you get in a set warning. Breathability. Wait, what? Alright. Oh yeah, it's because they're just down there. But they're permanently down there. They're down there until they suffocate. That's good. This is this is actually a really good mopping. Oh, beautiful. I could use some more manpower. Decreased calories. Decreased agriculture. Oh my god, look at all this crap. No, I'll just take whatever this is. Decreased calories. That's fine. I'm not, I'm not that worried. Just send them into the meat grinder team. Oh, that pneumatic door is going to wreck everything. Hang on, let's cancel it. <laughs> I don't want to. Oh, I don't want to cancel mop ops. Oh, it's still telling me I've got a food shortage at thirteen thousand calories. Six thousand per cycle. Why is it red? One or more duplicates is very hungry. Let him eat. Goodness gracious. Sort yourself out, game. Now, they don't love it. It's not great eats, I know, boys. Alright, so we'll probably build a mirror reservoir here, even though there's all this dirty water. Like, we're going to have to try and... Uh, like, what are we going to have to do? We're going to have to preemptively pump that reservoir. Just so we can put clean water in there. Like, I could put them back to back, but I wouldn't mind having room for proper expansion. It probably makes sense to sort of try and future proof it. You know what? The experiment on getting the food surplus, that can wait. Game tells me I'm doing 6,000 a cycle. Well, we can pump 6,000 a cycle. That's fine. For the, for the mo time being, I, I want the guys off the power and I want them on the tools. It doesn't help that they're all suffocating down there. Could you make that, like, sooner? Because then I can tear down this ladder. Nice. Alright, now we'll put the pressure door on it. We have a reservoir of dirty water. Well, it looks like there's a tiny bit of clean in there as well. I suppose I can mop that. No, not on floor. That's okay. That's something. We'll work with that. Right, so this we're going to deposit polluted water in at a priority nine. Auto bottling will deliver bottles from pitcher pumps. I'm going to do that, actually. Because that would mean that they will be pumping this into that as well. And that'll help us draw this water out and back into there. That might be a way to do it, actually, is with pitcher pumps instead of an actual pump to, to drain out the next reservoir that I build. Hmm. The thought. 
Having said that, if I complete this Jeffrey's tube here, I could probably bottom out all of this and maybe just put a pump at the bottom sort of thing. And then auto bottle it. Yeah, that might, hmm, that might work. All right, let's keep going anyway, because I, I want to deal with this fucking problem now. Um. Jeez, do we just go the whole hog? Let's go all the way around. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll burrow out the entire tube. Like that. Need to dig that. Oh, we'll have to do this as well. There we go. Little bit of logistical bloody infrastructure building there. All right. Get that pumping again. Resources. What can you tell me about? Uh, I like this. This is so good. This a handy bit of kit. Water. I've got a ton of water. How much does this use? Like 50 kilos a pop? Hundred and fifty kilos in it. Hmm. So, not exactly super sustainable. We do have a system in place, but we need to separate out our waters who are unable to do this. It's good, it's pretty much f filling up the reservoir full time. That's nice. Can they jump up to the ladder? No, if I dug out two of them or three, how much would I have to dig out for this to work? Four. Yeah, that's dangerous. I might put it down here because we're not going to use this space for anything. Might end up putting it right there. Yeah. Well, I... Oh. Do I care if we're putting our clean water back in to there? Because they'll auto bottle clean water out of that eventually, presumably. Hmm. Hmm. Anyway, the second reservoir is going to go here. Do like a mirror design. Yeah, because they don't like to hold the same square, we're getting some interesting interactions between them. There's room for hand pumping, hand mopping, which they do so quickly. At least we're getting a tiny bit of oxygen down there to... Did I turn that machine back on? I did. At this point, we need to run it full time, which I don't love. Interesting to see that turn to red. Toilet problems again. But I can only do so much, you know? And I need to get all this in order for me, for my own anal retentive means. Look at this cold that's creeping in, though. I don't really know how to track it to, like, when it's a problem. I guess, look, that water's less than... It's negative six degrees. I think for the moment we're doing okay. 
But we'll see. I'm really curious because I see, this reminds me of the early days of this game where heat death would sneak up on you. And I really feel like that's about that's going to happen here, but with cold death. Get rid of that. Who's pissing where? There? Very good. We might be able to just bottom out this reservoir and let it dump into the hallway. Mmm, that might do it actually really well. Nice. All right, now see, now we're running into problems. Waiting for water. How are we going to do this temporarily while we wait? I think like this. I don't want them dying down there, so... Uh, do that. If I let them dig all the way down there, they'll just suffocate. They've got 8,000 calories, so they've got a day to get this done. Alright, so sadly, that's not going to empty the whole thing out. Yes, good. I want more. More meat for the grinder. Decreased medicine. Let's do that. I've given them all hypothermia, food poisoning, all sorts of good shit. Nice. Commit, boys. Let's go. Build the railroad. All right, so we could probably mop the rest of that, which is good news. Need to finish these walls out. 3,000 calories. So we'll end up redirecting this pipe here. Uh, I guess we can run it straight down. And the problem is that I kind of want the ability to sort of mop it. That's why I usually build like a little room like this up above the uh, all right let's do that yeah we're gonna build a an upper floor bloody access for clean water no right so what happens here is we have Um, a pumping, a hand pump point for this, like a pitcher. Oh wow, okay, so they don't fit in that height. Ah, we've encountered a problem with my design for having lower ceilings. And that's all right, we can, we'll just make this bigger. That's the whole point, it's all modular, man.
So we'll have a pump there. We'll run a ladder down because you got, you know, safety first. We'll also have a bottle emptier in case there's, for whatever reason, there happens to be random clean water around. Yeah, and the way that we would usually do it is we'll run the pump back up in reverse order. And have a, like a drain there, so it will pump water, so we've always got a little bit of water up here. So that'll be the next stage of it, connecting the reservoir, but right now that's not that important. It's a shame I didn't realise that when I was building it. What we're going to need to do is build this. I mean... This just needs to empty in infinitely, I suppose. So we would go like that and have a liquid vent at the top. Yeah. Getting this right right now is the big priority. to me that this will probably need to be down there. Will they be able to access that? Hmm, I wonder. This is all a bit of a new design for me. All right, there we go. We're all good. We're hooked up. How does that not have a priority associated with it? Isn't that how pitcher pumps work? I guess not. Well, maybe because I already forced the priority? I'm not sure. Interesting. This, however, will only be clean water, nine. And then if we run this machine, hit enter to turn it on, for the moment, it's going to start dumping clean water into here. Which people will then pump. And then they'll go and put over here. And we'll be back in the game. But you can see what I mean. This is even more labor intensive. Really got to get farming as soon as possible. Oh fuck, what we gotta do is disconnect this pipe. Cause it now it's pu it's split pumping things in two directions. See we've still got the uh pipe connected to there. That's better. It nails going on the button. And we've you can see we've cleaned up all the spare bottles. There we go, and we've avoided disaster. We've eaten all of our food, but we should be on top of it now. Look at the CO2 just pooling there, because it's getting sort of waterlocked. 
Oh, pressure damage? Interesting. Might just delete that. Because they tend to prioritize repairing that, like, a lot. Um. Alright, so look at that. That's filling up so fast. We have to come up with a system for maybe cleaning polluted water or something. I don't know. We're just using it in some application. Because we don't really have one of those yet. No, I know we're out of food. I'm working on it. And this is also generating us dirt as well. <laughs> look at him. He loves it. <laughs> Alright, well look, that's probably a good spot to finish up for the moment. We've got an idea. Yeah, just piss farting around, getting your, your water in the right spot is usually a bit of a task at the beginning, at least the way I play it. It's interesting uh, with the pumps, how they don't like the high ceiling, because for the most part I can... Uh, I've usually done four high ceiling, but we're doing three high this time. But I don't mind because the whole point is it's modular design. I can just keep scaling up and up and up until I have a huge room that fits everything. So I still stand by it. Anyway, team, thanks again for joining me. Much just leave it there for the time being. And I'll catch you guys on the next one.